Howdy to everybody out there that is taking the time to view my channel today. I'm old Pops. And today, I am smoking a brand new Morgan Bone Setter. It's a bent, what you would almost call a billiard, but it's got a flat bottom on it. And it was sent to me by one of the folks that I have recently spoke so very highly of as a group who fits into a group, one of the people who fit into a group that I have very recently spoke so very highly of when, when my daughter and I uh, started a golf uh, six or eight days ago now we uh, opened it up to uh, presenters and non-presenters alike and uh, he is a non-presenter y'all know him by the name of Jack Sparron and he sent me a uh, a note or a comment telling me that he had ordered something for himself and uh, ordered an extra one and wanted me to have it. And asked me for my address. And I told him what my address was and turns out what he had ordered was one of the Cornell, I don't know if you can see it with a light or, or will it focus or what, but anyway, it's one of the Cornell and Deal commemorative Zippos. Can you see that? Has it got a bad angle or... Anyway, I don't know, but you can see it's got a tobacco plant on it and it says Cornell and Deal established 1992. absolutely beautiful it's a beautiful lighter I haven't put fluid in it yet but let me tell you in the box was this Morgan bone pipe Inaugural smoke. If you watch my channel at all, you know that I am a gouge carver, uh, which means that I carve on flat surfaces and take channels out of wood or linoleum or cork or rubber or anything anything you want uh, my preferred surface is a rubber pad and uh, I like to make rubber stamps and um, I've made um, so several of them for uh, various um, YTPC members, y'all know who you are. Um, I have done portraits, I have done landscapes, I have done buildings, I have I've done um, a lot of uh, realistics, I've done cartoons, I've done, um, gosh, I've, I've, 
I've done many, many, many of them. I've done Civil War scenes. I've done very large ones. I've done very small ones. I've done insects. I've done very large pictures. But, um, I don't know if he's seen any of my carvings or, or anything, but turns out that uh, he also was a carver, and uh, ooh. He sent me this Zippo um, fuel tank, a portable fuel tank, so you can carry extra Zippo fuel. And that little black thing there is for holding extra flints. And that little round disc there has a flat spot on it. That's a little screwdriver for opening your Zippo flint port, so you can put extra flints in it. It's like a little screwdriver. But that's just neat as it can be. It comes apart, the lid comes off, and it's got a little spout on it where you can fill your, your lighters. Let me stick it back in my pocket. But he knew that I was a, a fan of uh, knives, pocket knives, and he sent me, uh, and I'm not going to show y'all everything that he sent me because of the private and personal nature of some of the things that were in the box but he sent me a, a couple of uh, very very nice knives that uh, I intend to share one of them with uh, with the briar dude because uh, he uh, he collects knives and and I, I don't collect knives, but my father did, and I remember him fondly for collecting knives, and uh, I, um, my, my, he sent me a couple of uh, very, very nice, nice um, folding knives. Uh, some of you old timers call them jackknives. I think the difference between a, a folding pocket knife and a jackknife is that a folding knife has blades that fold this this way. Jackknives, both both blades fold the same way. A uh, piece of trivia you might not have known. But he sent me a uh, couple of very nice knives and uh, I, uh, I honestly honestly don't know what I uh, what I did to receive such a, a warm welcome back and uh, and I don't know what I do to have received so much love from you folks I'm, uh, I'm glad I do it, whatever it is, and I, uh, I will continue to, uh, to be thankful to you folks, and for you folks, and, uh, let me show you something else that he sent me. I've been... I've been a carver for some time and the one thing that I have never really been other than um, just to sit on the porch with my grandpa or sit up on the courthouse square 
with the old folks and whittle. But I've never been much of a whittler. I've seen it done on uh, on YouTube and I've often admired the guys that can do it and do it well and I've often wanted to try it. I've read up on it. I've watched the videos. There's one guy in particular I, I think his I think his name is Winker or his YouTube channel's name is Winker and I've watched bunches of his videos and I've, uh, I've saved, made me a playlist of his videos and uh, that would explain the black tape. He, uh, one more. Without being aware. of any affinity that I may have had at all for carving or whittling. This is a three quarter inch blade. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure what style, what shape blade it is. I do know that it's a three quarter inch. He also sent me a couple of two inch blades that have the most unique and beautiful handle the most exotic handles that I have ever seen in my life. I don't know what kind of wood they are, but they have to be just exotic, some kind of exotic wood. If I had to guess, Lord, I, uh, I just really wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to call them. If I really had to guess, I'd have to say the swirl and the color in it looks like the heart of, of Bodoc. But some of the bird's eye in it kind of looks like briar. But I went to Hobby Lobby and found me some basswood practice blocks. And there were ten blocks in the bag, all of them the same size. And this one has a hideous flaw in it, but it was the only one in the bag that had that big old ugly black hollow spot. It's not really hollow, but it uh, it's it's an ugly ugly spot in there that's going to chip out when I get to carving on it. So I'm going to carve on that corner. with my new carving knife. And that's what the tape is for. Because those are the two fingers that I'm going to have in the way. We fixing to get us a thunderstorm.
I got me a pipe full of halls of heartache. A cup of black coffee. Heard on the news this morning that folks who drink their coffee black have a tendency of feeling a special superiority over the other folks or over folks who don't drink coffee or over folks who drink their coffee with additives, sugars or creams or whatever you want to put in your coffee. A special superiority? I don't know about that. I know I like my coffee black. I know that if you put anything in it, you're messing up a good cup of coffee. This Halls of Heartache's my own blend. Mix it up myself. And it tastes pretty good out of this Morgan Bone. I'm old pop. Y'all be good to each other. Much love.